the McTelvin regime, he is a complete mystery at this point. Nobody knows what kind of steps he's going to take forward, take moving forward. And last year, in the limited limited action that he saw, he showed some promise. That Atlanta game that he had was actually very solid. He made some big plays in that game. He showed the flashes of potential. It's just a matter of making those flashes and making them more consistent. He's got the length. He's got the burst. He's got the explosion off the snap. But the technique aspect of it is very raw. I mean, even last year, as he got more playing time, it was still raw. It was still very obvious that he wasn't quite ready. It's why the Broncos kind of wanted to give him the year to just kind of develop and grow with his technique under Bill Kohler, the defensive line coach, who's one of the best defensive line coaches in the NFL. And so Ajim, after a year, we again, we just don't know what kind of steps forward he's going to take. The potential is there. It's just that technique's got to become consistent. And defensive linemen, they typically take two and a half to three years before they really come into their own. And he only has one year under his belt. So if he doesn't take this huge step forward, it's not the end of the world for him because it just takes so much time for defensive linemen to grow, especially ones that are as raw as he is. But we want to start seeing growth. We want to see this these steps forward. Again, not a huge step, but just progress. Progress with his development. If he's not showing that, then it's bad news for the former third-round pick.